this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regions problem number 19. If you want to access these exams, go to nysedregions.org and click on the appropriate tabs. So here's the problem. In circle O, diameter AB, chords BC and radius OC are drawn and the measure of arc BC is 108 degrees. So some students wrote these formulas to find the area of center COB and then I do look at the formulas cursorily because uh, it's a lot of information and it says which students wrote the direct, correct formulas and they're in pairs Amy Dex, Beth Cap, Carl, Carl Amy, Dex Beth. Okay so I recommend that you pause the video try the problem on your own see if you got the right answer and if you do definitely hit that like button to let us know. In this problem it does we do kind of need to know what we're being asked for we're finding the area of sector COB uh, we need to know it helps to know what the area of a circle is. Now if you don't remember the area of a circle pi r squared, you really should know it, but do also know uh, you can go to the formula sheet and to maybe the formula is here, and in fact it is here, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So now even though we, I recommend highly for life that you know that formula, uh, it's given to you. So now the area of a sector, it does help to know that what a sector is, it's like a slice, like a slice of pizza, like a slice of pie. Uh, some, a big slice, a small slice, whatever it happens to be, it's a, it's a slice. So that's the sector. So we see immediately that the sector is less than half the circle. So as a result, the area of the sector has to be less than half the area of the circle. So if we were to pick a test number for the radius, let's say 10, we can get a one, you know, this circle, it could be big or small, but the formulas have to be correct independent of the size of the circle. So a test radius will allow us to get the answer, to get an answer. We know that the answer has to be less than half the area of a circle, so less than half of pi r squared. Only two of these answers can be correct according to the choices. Amy, Dex, Beth, Carl, Carl, Amy, Dex, Beth. Okay, so whichever two answers happen to match about half the area of a circle and match each other is probably the correct answer and we could uh, stop there. Now, let's actually at this point though talk about the area of the actual sector. Uh, now that we know we have a way of doing this problem by process of elimination and by taking test numbers, uh, we should know that, uh, well, a sector is a fraction, a proportional fraction of a circle. And what is the proportion? It's the, it's the angle that the, the sector subtends. So the area of a sector must then be the area of a circle, pi r squared, times the uh, angle that, the central angle that it subtends, which is 108 in this case, uh, theta over 360 which in this case, so the angle it's times over 360, standard formula, so pi r squared times, in this case it's 108 over 360, and we're going to simplify this, oh sorry, it's 360, we're going to simplify this by finding a common factor, it turns out that 36 is a common factor, uh, so we get pi r squared times 3 over 10. Uh, and so the answer has to be 3 tenths the area of a circle, so that gives us even more to test. And only two of these four have to, have to be correct, so testing numbers will tell you the correct answer. But let's see if any of these match this formula. Um, let's see, Amy says 3 tenths, the 3 tenths is there, then times pi times bc squared. Now, well, bc is the length of the... Uh, the, the chord, we need the length of the radius. So this is not correct. So even though in our example we, we used the, the um, Amy as a possible right answer, we weren't assuming she's right, we didn't say she was right, uh, and it turns out that she's actually wrong. So Amy's answer is wrong, uh, which makes no, choice one, choice three wrong. So even if we don't know how to do this, we now have a one in two chance of getting it right by guessing. So how about Beth? She has the 108 over 360 times pi. She has pi also, and then she has OC squared. Is that R squared? Let's see, OC is a radius, so yes. And as these are also radii, so Beth is actually correct. So Beth is correct, but Beth is of course in choice three and four. Okay, so we knew that. So now let's see Carl and Dex. Carl has the 3 tenths right there, and he has pi, and then he has half AB. Half AB 
AB is the diameter, so half AB is the radius, because diameter is equal to 2R. So that's diameter, so this is radius, and radius D equals 2R. So in fact, Carl is correct, so this is the answer, and that's it. So, but let's just make sure that Dex is wrong. 108 over 360, he has that 108 over 360, and he has the pi, and then he has the one half of AB squared. So this is subtle, it's like, why is he wrong? A lot of students have the habit of multiplying before they square. When PEMDAS, the rules of order of operation, say that an exponent is performed before multiplication division. So the, squ the squaring happens with AB, and then that is divided by 2. That is not the same thing as dividing AB by 2 and then squaring it. So in fact, Carl is correct, and Dex is definitely wrong. Okay? So we've done this both by uh, pro by a process of elimination, and we've, uh, well, and we've also confirmed what the correct answer is. So if your goal is just to get the answer to problem 19, then definitely uh, hit the next button so you can see uh, problem 20. But we did create an extra problem for you guys uh, to get a, pro a practice with a similar question, and here's the question. In circle O, diameter AB, core BC, uh, chord BC and radius OC are drawn and me the measure of arc AB is 108. Some students wrote that this, uh, these formulas to find the area of sector AOC. Now this is the sector AOC, which is actually less than, not even less than half the area of the circle, it's less than a quarter of the area of the circle. It looks like about a fifth of the area of the circle. Uh, so whatever that happens to be, if you wanted to take test numbers, now you know. And now Alex, Brett, Key, Cleo, and Diane have these formulas. And which student wrote the correct formula? It's three out of the four. So finding the three out of the four that wrote the correct answer is equivalent to finding the one person that did not write the correct formula. So we're actually going to test all of them because uh, at least um, we'll, we'll not only confirm which answers are correct, but we'll, it'll also serve as a check by checking all the answers. So here's this arc measures 108 measures 180. This arc measures 108, so this is 180 minus 108 is 72 degrees. Okay? So that arc measures 72 degrees. So the area of that sector is equal to pi r squared times 72 over 360. So this is equal to pi r squared over 5, or 1 fifth pi r squared. Okay, so now let's see. Alex's answer is 72 or 360, so he has 72 or 360, and he has the pi, and then he has a b squared. So this is pi, uh, well, this is one, uh, this is 72 over 360 pi. a b is the diameter, d squared, okay? This is not the answer. So Alex is actually wrong. Immediately, we've eliminated three choices. Uh, one, two, and three, and we suddenly know that uh, choice four is the answer. That was pretty quick. Uh, but let's confirm the other ones. 180 minus 108. Oh, I see where he got that calculation. To, uh, that's the 72. That's how he gets 72, over 360. Then pi times OC squared. OC is a radius. That's right. So then the next one is the 1 fifth. Cleo has the 1 fifth, and pi, and she has OA squared. OA is also a radius because it's half a diameter, so she's right as well. And then Diane has the one-fifth, she has the pi, and then she has half AB, half the diameter, and then she squares that. Uh, so she's also uh, correct. So that is, in fact, Brett, Cleo, and Diane are correct. Uh, Alex is wrong. We've, we've checked our answer by not just confirming that Alex is wrong and eliminating choice one from three, but also confirming that Brett, Cleo, and Diane were right. So not only uh, do we have an answer here, but we've confirmed that it's right. It's a guaranteed two points. When we go to check our answers, we don't have to check problem 19. We got it right. Uh, so listen, I hope you got it. Uh, look, I know you can do it. Uh, I believe in you. Keep working at it. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video starting right now.